How's it going, everybody? My name is Sean. Thank you for tuning in to my channel, Sense by Sean. If you're new here, thanks for stopping by and checking out the video. If you are a returning viewer or subscriber, I want to thank you for coming on back and being a part of the fragrance family. So a little bit of a PSA before we jump into the video and before we talk about what we're going to be talking about today. I wanted to let you guys know that we are very quickly approaching the 100 subscriber mark, which is crazy to me. For some channels, 100 subscribers isn't a lot. Uh, I never anticipated the level of growth we've had so far. It's been a very short amount of time I've been putting out videos and the 100 subscriber mark, I think it's just such a cool milestone and I think it's a great first step and to hopefully uh, a fun, awesome channel that you guys enjoy coming back to and hearing my thoughts on some fragrances. So without getting all too sappy, I am really, really excited for that. And I wanted to talk about a giveaway that we are going to do once we hit 100 subscribers. I'll have more information of that at the end of the video, so stick around if you're interested in winning a couple uh, awesome fragrances for the giveaway. And with all that out of the way, let's go ahead and jump into today's video. So as I'm sure you guys saw by the title of this video, we are going to be talking about a particular fragrance house and one specific fragrance from that house. This is not a sponsorship. I was not sent this bottle by them. I actually obtained this through uh, somebody in a Facebook group that I am in. Uh, so this one actually was obtained by me. I'm not being paid or anything for this, but I thought it was a cool fragrance and it's a house that doesn't have a ton of hype yet. So I think it was a really cool time to go ahead and review it. So today we are talking about Montaigne Parfums. This is one of their fragrances that is an inspiration from a very popular designer men's fragrance. Uh, I won't say it right here at the beginning, but we're gonna go over the notes and I think that will give you guys a good idea of what this is inspired by. So, Atomizer is pretty good. We'll give you guys a quick overview of the bottle. They provide when the batch was made, they actually have your name on it as well. This is not my name, because like I said, this bottle was not ordered by me or anything of that nature. Uh, Atomizer is something that I'm happy with. It's, it's good quality. It's nothing over the top or anything to write home about. And the bottle itself is not amazing in terms of like design, but it's a nice heavy glass bottle. And all in all, it's a, it's a quality material for sure. Uh, so Montaigne Parfums, these guys have been around since April of 2019. I did a little bit of research uh, before making this video, uh, they do their own version of designer and niche fragrances. So some people we like to use the word clone, some people say their interpretation of, uh, there's no doubt about it that these are influenced and kind of inspired by other fragrances. The notes in this one in particular, which is La Ciel de Nuit, is this particular fragrance. You have notes of bergamot, you have notes of Sichuan pepper, and you have notes of ambroxan. Uh, those three notes being the very overpowering majority of what people smell when they smell Dior Sauvage. So this is Montaigne's take on Dior Sauvage. And right off the bat, it's very similar. Um, I'll let you guys know more as the video goes on what my thoughts of it are and my overall rating. But before we even get into if it's good or not, this is definitely a very, very close inspiration of Dior Sauvage. Ambroxan is one of those notes that Dior Sauvage is so well known for, and this definitely lives up to that. It is hard to argue that this is anything that's not very, very similar to Dior Sauvage. So I've got two fragrance cards here. I went ahead and sprayed this one about 45 minutes prior to filming this video. So we have an example of the dry down. I'm gonna set that down, and I am going to go ahead and get the opening again. As you guys can tell, this is a very, very full bottle, so I really haven't even worn this one yet. I am just, I wanted to save getting too much experience with it so I could kind of do like a first impressions on camera. So as you sniff the opening, the bergamot is by far what I feel the most prominent note. Uh, the bergamot hits you right in the face. It's very prominent. This is very fresh. It's gonna have that quality of being easy to wear and mass appealing like Dior Sauvage. Uh, the pepper and the ambroxan are absolutely present. Not as powerful as in Dior Sauvage. Uh, if, you are, if you enjoy bergamot, if you enjoy that very common fragrance note, and you like fresh citrusy fragrances, this one is definitely for you. Uh, the bergamot is prominent and it's done nicely. Much more of a bergamot opening than Sauvage has, so definitely keep that in mind. Now we're switching over to the dry down so I can get my nose on this. Like I said, this has been sitting for about 45 minutes. 
And in my honest opinion, the bergamot is still very, very apparent. This is a bergamot heavy fragrance, guys. So keep that in mind if you are interested in this one. Dior Sauvage, there's no denying of that fresh citrusy punch that the bergamot offers, but this is heavier. Not to say that it's overpowering, not to say that it's bad, because I do believe it's actually a very nice addition. And in my opinion, I think it, it suits this particular inspiration well, because it's not an exact clone, it's not an exact copy. Some people who may be thinking that your Sauvage could be a little fresher with that citrus punch may enjoy this better. The Ambroxan and the Pepper have definitely mellowed out and kind of joined the party, more so as it dries down. The citrus is not as pronounced, but it's definitely still the note I get first off. So those are all things to keep in mind. Now, how similar is it to Dior Sauvage? I think in being in the same vein, it is absolutely similar, guys. There is no doubt that this is inspired by, is somewhat of a spinoff of, and is very much related to Dior Sauvage, but I love that they did something a little bit different with the notes to make it a fragrance all of its own. This is an Eau de Parfum concentration, so even after 45 minutes, of course, this is not on skin, this is on a tester card, uh, but it's very prominent, it's very uh, well established on the card, and it does well on the dry down. I'm actually pretty pleased with it. Now, to talk a little bit more about the company as a whole, like I said before, they actually have your name printed on the bottle and the bottled on date. I hope you guys can see that okay. So when they make these fragrances, these are made custom and these are sent out as they are made. They even have a little diagram on their website that shows their current like outage time of when they're going to have these shipped out, which I think is really, really cool. So you're aware that whichever you order is going to be mixed up fresh. That's not always a great thing because these are then sometimes recommended to steep a little while and sit to garner their full strength. Uh, but it's, it is an interesting notion to provide your name. This is made specific for you. I think that's a really, really cool touch. Like I said, these guys have actually been around since 2012 based on the information I read on their website, uh, but they were in a different sector of the fragrance uh, community or in the fragrance business uh, and started making their own fragrances in 2019. They also send out samples for a really, really quality price. I believe about $3 for a sample and they have free shipping. So if one of these is something you're interested in trying, they don't make you pull the trigger on a full-size bottle, which I can really appreciate. They give you a good opportunity to try the fragrance first, and I think that shows that they have confidence in their product and believe once they've given you a sample that you're gonna be back to buy more. Now, do I agree with that? We've had a minute to smell the opening and we've had a minute to smell the dry down. I'm gonna grab the dry down one more time here. In my personal opinion, I think that this is a worthy fragrance for you to check out if you like Ambroxan heavy fragrances, if you like citrus, easy to wear all around any time of year fragrances. Dior Sauvage is well known for being in that ballpark of a dumb reach, a compliment getter, a grab and go, a date night, office, out fun and play. Any time that you wanna wear Dior Sauvage usually is a good time to wear it. So if you like those fragrances and you like Sauvage, and you are okay with the nuances that make this a little bit different than Dior Sauvage, namely, in my opinion, that bergamot note, I would definitely call this a quality fragrance. Uh, so these guys run $40 for a 50 milliliter bottle. They are an eau de parfum concentration, like I said before. So that's always a benefit to have a slightly higher concentration, uh, and that's gonna give you a little bit more longevity and a little bit better projection out of these as opposed to some eau de toilettes. My final thoughts on this one would be, I would give it an eight out of 10 in terms of my personal preferences uh, because I enjoy this fragrance and I'm excited to try some more from them. Like I said, this actually was not purchased from Montaigne nor sent to me from Montaigne. Uh, this was just gotten in a third party situation and I hadn't actually seen any uh, reviews done for La Ciel de Nuit, so I figured that I would go ahead and make one and let you guys know what my thoughts on it are. I will leave their website and their Facebook info down in the description below, so if you guys wanna jump on their website and take a look, they have lots and lots of different fragrances inspired by other fragrances. I know for sure these have been reviewed before. This one I didn't really see any content on, so I was really excited to grab the bottle, get my nose on it, and let you guys know my thoughts. So, Montaigne Parfums, La Celle de Nuit, I think it's a winner, guys. I really think it is going to be a good value for your money. Just know what you're getting into. If you can wait for the shipping to come out, get yourself a sample of this, because I think this is one a lot of people will like. And even if you are unsure, that sample program that they have is fantastic. So I think this one is worth pick up. I'd give it an eight out of 10. Uh, and so far, uh, from what I've seen from it, I think they make quality stuff, guys. So like I said, links are down in the description. 
check them out. And if you guys are watching Montaigne Parfums, I really enjoy the stuff and I think you guys did a great job with this one. All right guys, so I hope you enjoyed the review. I wanna thank you for hanging out until the end of the video and sticking around with me. So like we said in the beginning, we are approaching that 100 subscriber mark and I think that's the coolest thing in the world. I wanted to do a giveaway to show my appreciation to my subscribers and just to plain celebrate a really cool milestone for the channel. So the way the giveaway will work is uh, I will leave more information down in the description on how you can go about joining the giveaway. Uh, the giveaway is going to be three 10 milliliter decants of three different fragrances. So our first fragrance is going to be Creed Aventus. For those of you that are interested, this is batch 19S31. So we are going to be doing 10 milliliters of Aventus. We are going to be doing 10 milliliters of Mason Margiela Replica by the Fireplace. 10 milliliter decant of this one. And a 10 milliliter decant of Parfums de Marly. And this is PDM Herod. So each one of these will be decanted into a 10 milliliter decant. Uh, we will be doing a raffle style giveaway and each one will be given away to a separate person. So you actually have three chances to win. The first winner will be able to choose from the three and so on and so forth. The second will choose from the last two and the last one will get what's left. So I think that's the most fair way to go about it. But like I said, guys, keep up in the description. I'm also going to link the new Facebook group that I created down in the description as well. Uh, that way you guys can join in. It'll be a buy, sell, trade, discuss group and everybody can kind of talk about fragrances and get some more information from my channel. So I'm gonna have all that info down in the description, guys, on how you can enter this giveaway. You've been watching Sense by Sean. Smash that subscribe button, guys. Make sure you follow along for more fun and content. Comment down below. Make sure you hit that like button and thanks for stopping by.